think May was one of the best months ever where I received the best books ever. I have kept them in the boxes instead of putting it on the shelf because I just wanted the whole experience of taking out a book and showing it to you and telling you how I felt when I received the books because oh my god it was amazing. Hey you guys welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing very very nice and I'm sending a lot of hugs and poetry to all of you. Hi if you're new welcome to the channel. I really hope you enjoy the content and if you do please do consider subscribing. I have my coffee over here all the One Piece fans. Hi. <laughs> we have all the books over here. All of them are just so special. I just want to first of all talk about the book that I got from Crossword or I first of all want to talk about well this one special package that I got from Penguin but I can't talk about all of them first so I'm just going to talk about them in the sequence in which I received them. Let's begin the video. The first two books I got were from Pan Macmillan. Thanks Pan Macmillan India for sending these to me. The first book is One for My Enemy by Olivia Blake. You guys know that I have been crazy about Alone With You in the Ether and even though I have read only one book by this author I am her biggest fan okay and then when I came to know that she is writing like sort of like enemies to lovers where the families are against each other I knew that I had to have it also just like look at this cover it is so gorgeous it is so amazing I don't know what to expect but at the same time I'm going oh, I have it it's also a thick ass book it's floppy and it fits the theme of me reading thick floppy books which I want to do more of especially in June so I'm excited about this the next book I got was in the lives of puppets by TJ Klune honestly I am not very familiar with the work of TJ Klune because I have not read any book before by the same author but I did get comments from you guys to read the house of Serulin C or something like that and that TJ Klune is a very very comforting author comforting fantasy and so I was like maybe this is going to be an amazing start to a whole new world that I have not explored before. Also just like look at the cover. It's so green. I feel like like taking a bite of this and feeling like I'm chewing on greens for the day or something like leaves and stuff because of how green it is and honestly this is reminding me of Naughty. I don't know what the show was called but there was this cartoon that I used to watch called Naughty and I remember this one scene where they were like in the woods though that was at night and it looked somewhat like this so yeah I'm excited about this. Next up I got some books from Crossword. This bag has been holding them since almost a month at this point. It's torn a little bit on the bag because I keep carrying it and keeping it here and there and to be very honest I keep removing books from the bag and putting it on the shelf or on my bed and I stare at it for some time while watching something and I just feel so so grateful that I have these and everything that happened that day that ooh, and then I just put it back because it has to be in the bag till I make the video. I went to crossword and I went to a different crossword than I generally go to and usually when I go to crossword I always Always check out the half price section. The other crossword that I go into, the half price section does not have like the best books ever, and so I never shop from there. But then I went to this crossword and I went to the half price section, and I got literally the best books ever, which are like quite expensive even on Amazon for half price and you have no idea how amazing it feels to actually get books from bookstores but at a good price too which is not like completely wrecking your budget though it did wreck my budget actually this was not the plan at all for this month and on top of that all of them are hardcover you guys like except one all of them are hardcovers it was so cool when I was done with the shopping to come out with this like paper bag filled with hardcover books in it like it's the ultimate feeling first and foremost we have this trust me by tm logan this is a story of a child that has been left on the bus baby has a paper crumbled in his or her hand i don't know a lot about it which says please protect me yeah don't trust the police don't trust anyone so i saw this on the shelf and i was like this is so beautiful first of all the story is so intriguing it has a child involved in it which just heightens every emotion there is in the world and i love experience that I just love how this feels in my hand having like thriller mystery books which are hardcovers and this type of like big hardcovers it's a whole other feeling having them in your hand or even reading them I have seen so many like series and stuff where people read books and it's hardcover and it's big and 
it just feels so good next up right after that i was only going to buy one book but then i decided that you know what let me just buy one more book okay so then i got another thriller only the same kind of feel the same kind of size of the book it is her last holiday by c l taylor the other cool thing about both these books is that i have not seen it in a lot of places though i do know that both these authors have best selling books already so i'm sure that they are popular but i have not heard of them and just going to a bookstore and getting books that you have not heard about from somebody else or it was not recommended to you by somebody else it's a whole other feeling and that is what i got from these books just look at them together the next two books are actually another like two more hard covers two more unpopular books first we have in between dreams by iman verji verji i really hope i'm taking the name right first of all just look at the cover it's the most beautiful thing in the world and second of all it is written in two or three timelines and they are woven together to form a story and i love books like that especially like since i read cleopatra and frankenstein or into the water by paula hawkins where every chapter when you go the story does move forward but from a different perspective or from a different time and it all ties in together it's also very lyrically written as acclaimed on the cover and so i'm excited to read this one and then in the end i got the high mountains of portugal now this is from the author of life of pi and though i have not read life of pi i enjoyed the movie thoroughly it is one of those childhood memories i have because my school took me to a theater to watch that movie and i remember i was like oh my god another field trip from school is going to be so boring it's going to be so lame they never take you for something cool but then i started watching the movie and i was totally mesmerized so i don't know what the book is like but the movie was definitely impactful and so i'm thinking that i read this it also gives me sort of like the alchemist vibes though i think that there are three or four stories of different people again coming together so they're both those kind of books in the end i got a paperback which is strange magic by sid moore another unpopular book this is going to be a witchy romance is what i know from what i have read and since i read the kiss curse is it the kiss curse yeah the kiss curse i wanted to read more books like that which are like witchy and like ooh magic and stuff like that so i got this one also and these are all the books that i got from crossword just look at them this is heaven it's heaven next up i got seven books for the agatha christie shelf so they are all books by agatha christie i would explain more about these to you but i already have a dedicated video of the unboxing and the haul and as to why i got it so you can go and check out the unboxing of all these books along with that i have also read five of them already and i have locked them for the agatha christie shelf so you can go and check that out too i am really happy that i have like i have two more books by agatha christie so i have a collection of of nine books and i have kept it all in the back and it all looks so good together it's amazing next i received a package from harper collins and the book is the Re retreat by zara rahim this actually looks like something that i have not read before i did read the blur i don't feel familiar with the kind of book that this is and i'm hoping that it has sort of like sisterhood or oh two female best friends working out things i love those stories it is the most fun to read and so i got this one also just like look how pretty it's literally so insanely pretty i am also developing a thing for pink books i don't know what it is oh that reminds me i completely forgot this one book i got i forgot that it's in this haul only actually since i got this book is when i have this developed feelings for pink books and i really like this one this is not the one that i got right after that but i'll just talk about it now that it's in my hand and we have girl goddess queen by bia fitzgerald now this one is a very very thick book and i've already read it and it was the most satisfying experience ever having my bookmark through the pages and like seeing the progress and i was putting stories of this on instagram as i was progressing ahead it was so much fun to see your guys's reaction also over there and it's literally like the floppiest book ever this is the story of persephone if you guys have seen my previous haul i was it in the last haul i got the love story this one touch of dark a touch of ruin and a touch of malice this is the sto love story of hades and persephone and i have read one of these books and after that i was not even expecting this at all in the mail but then i got this and this is 
only the story of Persephone. Now on one hand the thing is that I don't like Persephone a lot in the series, the first book that I read, but I think that there is a lot of character development that's going to happen in the further two books, so I still have a lot of hope. But on the other hand, this is only the story of Persephone. So I was thinking that once I read this, maybe the whole image of Persephone will be cleared in my head because I don't really know Persephone a lot. I don't know why her name is Persephone. I don't know her as a Greek goddess. I've not heard a lot about her. So I thought that once I read this, I'll be able to read that with more familiarity. So I just like started reading this as soon as I got it because also it's really thick and I love reading thick books. I was not expecting to finish it so quickly, but I did because of how interesting the book is. I'm not going to give you a review right now. It'll be there in the wrap up, which is probably coming like very soon. But I am in love with this book. I love how it looks. This is the proof copy. The book is releasing in July on 20th July 2023. The cool thing is that this copy is not very different from the real copy. The real copy though does have like a whole crown. It has a crown on the bottom and I really really enjoy that also. So only the crown is missing but it's fine. Now it is time to talk about one of the best 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 packages I have ever received in my entire life. I don't I I don't even want to talk about it actually because I feel like I don't know how on earth will I be able to express how how amazing I have I'm already at a loss of words. <sighs> I did not know I will be so speechless once I start talking about this. I got this box from Penguin and I was not that I was not expecting it but then when I got it obviously I was surprised because it has come like much later than what I thought I will get it and blah blah all of those things so then I opened my box and then I saw something on the top and I closed it I literally did this on the bed and it was so rapid that Utsav my brother he just came to the bed and he was like Didi what happened why are you reacting like this okay and I was like Utsav just like wait for a minute here I am having a moment right now and then slowly I opened the box again and you guys won't believe what was facing down in the box it's a happy play by emily henry but not just that it's the hardcover of happy place by emily henry but wait it's not just that it is so not just that it's the hardcover of happy place by emily henry which is signed it is a signed edition this was touched by emily henry i feel so lucky so ugh, i'm gonna cry right now also i got it like in mid may or like the early second week of may okay so i don't even know if the book was even released in india at that time or not and i was expecting an arc which is an advanced reviewing copy of the book review copy of the book but then again this box was totally unexpected and i opened it and forget arc it's not even paperback it's actually a hardback of happy place and if you guys know me and if you know my obsession with Emily Henry and what she has done to me with book lovers you know this is the best moment of my entire life <sighs> It was the most beautiful surprise ever and I will forever be grateful to Penguin for doing this. Expect a reading vlog very very soon. I am actually reading lessons in chemistry right now and right after that I'm going to pick up on this book and I am vlogging everything so be prepared for that. Since I got it I lost interest in anything else that exists in this world actually because I've been just wanting to read these books only and now the time is finally here and I am insanely excited. The next book again one of the most special books ever that I got is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriela Zevin. Sorry, Gabrielle Zevin. This was in my yearly TBR and I actually got it and I love this edition. It is so super duper shiny. This book says that it is not a romance but it is about love and as much as I love romance so much on some days, I am so excited to see what this entails. I remember when I was putting it in my TBR, I knew that this book is like meant for me and it's going to be one hell of an experience. The next book I got which I was so excited about is X's and O's by Amy Leah. I have already read Set on You by Amy Leah and this is the story, the love story of her sister. Now the cutest thing about this book and why I'm excited about it is because this her sister was actually a bookstagrammer and we saw like glimpses of how she lives her life in the book Set on You and now I get to read her love story and what her life looks like. Oh she 
also has a book in her hand in the cover and in the end i got one of the best best non-fiction books in the world that is what i'm hoping but it just looks so so promising and so intense and serious but at the same time it's speaking to me that until i am going to change your life and the book is the creative act a way of being by rick rubin look at that like i literally have it in my hand but i'm still looking at it in the screen i am a big fan of big magic which is all about having a creative life and big magic has such a big impact on my life that even now i mean i see the world like that i see my own job like that this one is also promising a way of being a creative act is a way of being and i have read a few quotes from this and i feel like this is going to be of the similar vibe i'm just expecting to read something that opens my eyes crazily okay I I don't know why in june i'm going to be reading this the whole month and i'm very excited about it is this the last package oh no we have two more books before the package i got these books from hash it india thanks for sending these books the first is woman eating by claire corda again i've already finished this book just look at that cover i love the spine of the book and i have read it already and you will have to see the wrap up to know what i felt about it or how it was but i just want to say that i was not expecting to read something like this from this book this is the story of a vampire and i was expecting so many outlandish fantasy magical stuff and i was totally in the mood for that so i was like okay fine i'll just read it and though it was nothing like that at all i was so not disappointed i was the happiest person alive the next book i got was the last lecture this one is actually a special book because when i went to crossword uh, some other weekend i actually saw this book but it was not for sale and i saw only one copy of this and then two days later i see that this new edition of the book is out and i was like this has to be a sign that i have to get this book okay now maybe i'm just being too i don't know i'm making up stories just because i wanted to read the book or just because oh i want to have this book but at the same time it just feels like too much of a coincidence that you see this one book out of nowhere in crossword and then that one book out of nowhere pops up on your screen and then you also get it so as soon as i got it i started reading it and i was stunned from the very first page and it put me into a thought process in the very first page and honestly speaking since that day i have been in a whole other place thinking about things from a very different perspective this is the last package and again i got two amazing books the books were the people on platform five by claire pooley now the authenticity project by the same author is the pop popular one it just looks like it will be the kind of book like anxious people or something by frederick backman and i am the biggest fan of anxious people by frederick backman and so i am extremely excited about this again i want to read this also in june also i want to read two million books in june and the last book i got was one moment by becky hunter i actually saw this on storytel and i read what it's about and i was like oh my god this is so cool i'm going to listen to it but then there was an option of actually getting the physical copy from the publisher and i was like oh you know what it would be nice if i get it and then i just left all hopes because i was like i'm not actually going to get it but then i did get it so i was very excited about it this one feels like reading they both die at the end by adam silvera so many of my books they feel like the other books that i've already read and so i start reading them but then they turn out to be completely different and i'm like so pleasantly surprised it's amazing but yes you guys those were all of the books that i got this month ah! This is why I go to the gym. Pick it up, Archer. Come on. Yeah. I'm hoping it now makes sense why I was so excited in the beginning of this video because aren't these the best books ever? Wow, they're heavy, huh? <sighs> I'm so so satisfied now that you have seen all of these books I actually get to put them on shelves and I actually emptied some shelves so that I'm able to put these books properly so yes you guys I really hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for some amazing vlogs coming up I'll see you guys again very very soon bye